global news on Atlantic Television Network has headline. Rivers Executive Council to spend 800 billion naira in 2024 budget. Ohanese negotiates Tinubu to release Kanu. President Tinubu commissions first electric taxis in Midigri. TBN cancels protesting fees and large cash deposits. Russia presidential elections hold in occupied Ukraine. Singer Omar expresses regret over ex-girlfriend. Basimham travels to Marrakech, Morocco for CAF Awards 2023. Expenditure <music> while recurrent expenditure is getting 360 President Bolatinibu to prevail on the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesum Wike, and his loyalists to stop their moves aimed at sacking the River State Governor, Simnalai Fubara. The Ijo National Congress condemned what it labeled as, as open support by security agencies for the Martins and Mehule led faction of the state lawmakers loyal to Wike, whom they gave protection to hold a sitting against a subsidy subsisting court order requiring all parties to maintain the status quo and to no and to take no for official actions until further notice a statement signed by its president professor benjamin okaba said it is unhappy that despite previous interventions of president Tinubu and other critical stakeholders vk was bent on ensuring the impeachment of governor Kubara and therefore submit to mr president siwaju bola ahmed Tinubu that ijo national congress worldwide its affiliate bodies Top structures and activists are directly concerned by the impunity and indecorous conduct by a minister of the federal government and the apparent connivance of those who ought to curb his excesses. The Apex Pan Ijo Social Cultural Organization commended Fubara for his calm and nature disposition in the face of insult, noting that such conduct is becoming, a civilized, is becoming of a civilized leader and statesman. Kwemeka is a full number, said the gunmen came to kidnap the owner of the club, but they were resisted by security men attached to the club, and as a result of the resistance, the gunmen started shooting sporadically, killing many people in the process, and also beheaded one of the security men who resisted them from taking the owner of the nightclub. Spokesperson for Anambra State Police Command DSP Tochuku Ikenga said investigation is ongoing and this is coming after another nightclub owner and popular witch doctor Akwa Kuko had been attacked months in the same community. Chukwemeka confessed and there is nothing for the house to investigate in the matter as the governor himself, who is the owner of the signature, has not complained that his signature has been forged and attributed his signature forgery claim to the lingering political crisis in the state, alleging that it was the handiwork of some people who have political ambition ahead 2024 governorship election. Elder Statesman Chief Edwin Clark has written an open letter of intervention to President Bola Tinubu over the leadership crisis rocking on those state. He is asking President Tinubu to invoke the doctrine of necessity for a resolution of the crisis. This is coming after the state has been battling a political crisis for months after the governor, Rotimi Akaridolu, came back from a medical trip. The governor, since returning to Nigeria, has been in Ibadan, the oil state capital, while his absence has thrown the state into a political quagmire, with many, especially the opposition, questioning his state of health. But to resolve the impasse, Edwin Clark, asked authority, has confirmed the dismissal of five officers and others reprimanded for being guilty of corruption and misconduct while performing their duties in the state. A statement by the public relations officer, Lasma Debayo Taufik, that the Lagos State Civil Service Commission had approved of every, every proposal of the Personal Management Board and the public sharing of experiences, both negative and positive, and the provision of relevant evidence regarding alleged delinquencies will be necessary for the agency to improve and also pleaded with Lagos drivers to always abide by the state traffic law to avoid breaking the law and facing the penalties that are stipulated in the legislation while assuring the public that th these complaints will be looked into quickly and impartially. Taufik stated that the cases against the remaining 14 indi indicted last month officials are awaiting for the administrative review of the state's economy, including good governance and leadership, infrastructural development and maintenance, education and human development, improved health care and social welfare, as well as agriculture and rural development, development industry and commerce information and communication technology and 
housing, enhanced internally generated revenue and water and sanitation, while the Speaker, Kogi State House of Assembly, Ali Umar Yusuf, noted that the budget is expected to be a reflection of the resolve of the people of the state to address their critical needs. You are watching the Global News on Atlantic Television Network. We will return after this break. Live analysis, expert discussions on trending stories in politics, business, socioeconomy, sports, and documentaries. So catch all the updates on the happenings around the globe. Stay focused on the fact today. Only on ATN. Christmas season, hooray! And be filled with joy, laughter, and beautiful moments. From all of us in Morrison Communications Limited, Wish 99.5 FM and Atlantic Television Network, we wish you a Merry Christmas full of amazing experiences. Cheers to a beautiful year end.
Global News on Atlantic Television Network. Now to the rest of our relocation estates, area of the territory. This is coming after the armed men invaded the area, shooting sporadically before whisking some persons away, while a woman and her three children, including a six-month-old baby, were kidnapped by the daredevil terrorists. However, the FCT Police Public Relations Officer, XP Just Finn, said investigations are ongoing. All Progressives Congress in Niger State has barred all members from discussing